How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be continuing with our uh, S7-1500 series uh, PLC's temperature PID control setup. So in the last video we configured our uh, controller uh, that uh, we did the NTI portal. But today uh, we are going to be, in this video, we are going to be uh, setting up our HMI. So in the HMI I like to have my temperature readout, my set point access to my set point and also for a gain and have a look at uh, have a dead zone on it as well and also uh, uh, I want to have a heat output onto it to see 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 where the things are on a HMI and be able to edit them if I do need to do that and also we're going to be adding a uh, switch on and off for our uh, heater itself so uh, yeah that's what we're doing today so without further ado let's get started <music> So the first thing we need to do, as you're not sure you remember from the last video, uh, or did I show in the last video, we need to put this a switch onto our HMI screen, which as you can see, that's, that's, uh, this is our uh, PID out, this is our uh, switch on and off, and this is going to be SSR out, which comes to digital output to our HMI. So let's jump onto a uh, root screen. We're going to do everything in the main screen, so let's go into tool. Ooh. Uh, select a switch and we're gonna make a fairly big one in here so something like that so is that, does that look good I hope it does I'm not a HMI designer so I'm not a, not a mister making things pretty and fancy so let's grab a tag and go into our uh, not HMI tags in the PLC tags and we need heating on and off so that's the one for that also we're going to change the switch around a little bit we're going to create it with the text and we're going to say come on heating on we're also going to say heating off so there we go so uh into that one so and also we're going to change the appearance we're going to go and change the writing into something fancy like this yeah look at that it looks good so at least you can see it so next up we want to have a setup a set point so to access the data uh, from the PID controller this is open BD editor if you open BD editor I did show in the last video right in the end all the data that is associated with this PID controller all is literally in here Everything you will need, and there's a lot, guys. Do check it out. There's so many things you can, and even shows you in here. So what can you? Uh, ooh, this is uh, accessible from a HMI, a writable from HMI, and a visible in HMI engineering, and so on, so on, so on. So do check out this page. There's a lot you need to do, and all the comments and explain what each thing is. So uh, to access it. Let's go into the root screen. So we're gonna need a uh, three, uh, five, five of a these guys. Did you do? Come on. There's no name in it. Oh, uh, I/O fields. There we go. That's that's what that's what is called there. So uh, that'll be one. Let's copy, uh, paste. Actually, so if I do that, do that. Let's delete that. Delete that, so that, that, and make it a nice and big, I would say. That's all right. And now, now copy and make them all the same size. One, put them right down here, and just do it again. Paste. Let's do it again. Wow, he he remembers exact position. Look at that. I didn't know that. And one more. Look at that. I did not know that. That is cool. No. It's not exact position. Oh, I thought it was literally going to... He almost did in an exact position. Let's position them all nicely. Are they all nicely now? Yeah. So, after that, let's do the text. So, what we want. So, let's grab a text in here. So, let's do... We're going to call that as a set point. So, uh, and then we're going to make it a, a 
by Ga. So in general, let's just raise this up a little bit. So like that. So uh, in the note and make that roughly about 27. That's to be, we got big screen, so why not? Let's use it. So that'll be set point, uh, set on the bottom. So what we're gonna do again, we're gonna copy, paste. And we're gonna set it down here. We're gonna change the text in a minute. So paste, paste. Okay, so we don't have to change these things. So uh, um, I'll tell you one thing, what's the biggest one? Temperature, let's change this one, the text on this one as um, actual. Mm. actual temperature. So how far do you come out? Somewhere around here. Yeah, so let's do like that. So uh, make them all align with this guy in here. So you are there, you are there. So it it kind of helps you out where to get things like nicely in line, uh, except this guy. Come on, there we go. So that we actually attempt. So this one in here is going to be our gain. So I do want to know what gains does. I mean, I don't totally trust the the what's his name that. Uh, uh, these these tuning, so I'll go, I'll, I just want to have that data. So this is going to be control zone, control zone. This is basically tells you how far he's willing to go to overrun my temperatures. I want to know and be able to test this uh, setup. And this is the, this is the heat heat out. But basically, it will show me how much heat has been, what percentage of heat has been uh, output out there. So again, actual temperature, set point, and so on. So that looks pretty good. So let's put that button some somewhere down here. I think it's good for now. So the next time, let's let's add data to tags to it. So let's click on them. So uh, to access those tags, there, just go to technology object in here and click on them. So uh, there's um, uh, all the tags in here. So what you need, so we first we need set point. Done. Uh, I don't need uh, three digits in the back, so that'll do. So actual temperature is gonna be our uh, well, scaled input. So here we go, that will be for our scaled input. That'll be our actual temperature. So let's remove one, two from that as well. So gain. Well, gain is now I need to remember where it was. So, yeah, where was it? So, you were somewhere PID control. Don't quote me any. One sec, guys, I'll be right back when I find it. Here is, I found it. So, it's under retain control parameters heat. Don't be confused, guys. If you look at it, look at it, it's got gain in here, then you have control parameters. Let me see if I can. Run down that. So it says backup. These are different. Okay. These are for the backup. If you do create a backup, so you can see all the gains and things like that as I hear, but you need to go control parameters. Those are the actual control parameters. So uh, from there, our gain is right here. Done. So again, let's remove two zeros. Uh, then it's control zone. Definitely one control zone. Just keep an eye on it. So I can speed things up if I wish to. Control zone. Here we go. So uh, again, don't need to. I uh, will keep the keep this. System. So and then it's a heat output. So a heat output. So uh, let's click that. And uh, ooh ooh ooh. So I believe it was somewhere on the top. So heat output output heat areas. So that would tell us what sort of uh, heat is being output at what percentage. So for that, we just don't need that much. So we just remove those two digits. One decimal will do. And that, that's it. I think I'm quite happy with this. So yeah, so let's load it in. So let's get that done. Let's compile it. business let's overrun everything is on our HMI we'll have a look at the HMI in, in a minute and that is done so uh, let's 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 see if the HMI starts up 
and uh, let's change the cameras so uh, which one is it which one is it so is it this one no that's me so let's see and there we go guys so as you can see in here sort of uh, gives me a rough uh, understanding so at the moment my set point is at uh, 80 degrees actual temperature stands at 18 which is in this cup in here that's roughly about 18 degrees in here so uh, as i was playing with the pid already it's got some uh, control zone already that control zone is ridiculously high so we would uh, we will uh, retune it in the next video because that's again that's from different things i was doing and gain at the moment starts at 1.5 so we're going to tune it in the next video see what it comes up with and uh, we'll be able to go from there so he, he, at the moment everything is fully uh, running so uh, if we go into the uh, here and we go into the cyclic interrupt and uh, have a look at the controller itself as you can see it is uh, a signal is true but it can't function because it's blocked out by this guy so uh, this guy in here so I can't really do anything so uh, yeah so uh, if we turn it on so we'll just quickly show you demonstrate if we turn turn it on so uh, let's change the camera to this one in here by heat on you want to say in a minute the the heat uh, or at the moment the heat output is uh, 100 percent so uh, he's already was on so uh, there we go so let him start heating up so we can have a bit of a seat what's going on and you'll see in a minute how the heat output is sort of gives me it, uh, how, what percentage it's, it, 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 is it running. So temperature is rising. As you can see, my uh, digital output is 100% on in here. That sort of is more or less resembles to this guy in here. That's what I wanted to see. So it gives me a good idea what sort of heat output am I getting. So there we go. So by, by this configuration, it's already starting to reduce the heat output, which is... Uh, a little bit, little, for my liking, that's a little bit too early. That's why I say we're going to need to retune it. So we don't want to continue. Let's turn it off. So let it be as it is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. Hopefully that gives you a good understanding of how things are done, how you can get stuff onto HMI and where to get it from. And uh, so, yeah, in the next video, we still got one more thing to do, which is to uh, tune it and have a look. I'll be happy with the tuning if you're not happy with the tuning, because often I'm not happy with the tuning. So we, we, he tunes in some of the good data, but some of the data that kind of needs to be adjusted manually. It's I, I like gain and, and, and control zone, which which I like I, I like adjust. Is is um, those are the two things we're gonna keep it on the HMI screen just in case we need them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and do subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I'll see you in the next video.